Henshaws, daily living, supporting people with sight loss and a range of other disabilities to go beyond expectations. Hello, welcome to Henshaws Tips, Tricks and Tech. My name is Debbie, I've crept out from behind the camera today to give Mark a bit of a break, but also to share with you two life hacks that I think are really cool. So these life hacks are all about mobility, they're all about being independent when you're out and about. So the first thing that we're going to look at is tactile paving. So that is where the ground changes underneath you. And this would be useful for somebody who's using a long roller cane. So the reason I'm looking at the floor is because I'm stood on some of it now. And this is called blister paving. And this is used at a pedestrian crossing to tell you that you need to stop. So you can hear the beep. We're at a pedestrian crossing now. Hopefully you can still hear me. So there's different types of this tactile paving. As I say, this is called blister paving. There's another type called offset blister paving. And that is where, so in this type, it's used in very uniform, straight rows. In offset, the bumps are offset against each other. So it's a more higgledy pattern. I'll show you a picture of that. And this is used at train stations, at tram stations, at underground stations, on platforms. So if you come across that, you would know that you need to stop. It's dangerous and you're at a platform edge. There's another type that is called corduroy paving and that is long strips of raised paving in rows with rounded edges so it's, it's not a trip hazard at all and this paving tells you that there's some sort of hazard ahead so it's not necessarily telling you that you need to stop like this one is it's telling you that there's something ahead that you just need to be aware of so that might be um, the top of some stairs or the bottom of some stairs it might be a level crossing or it might be um, a ramp something like that so that's three types of paving that make a massive difference to somebody who is using a cane to travel around so if you've come across this paving so you've come across this blister paving you're at a pedestrian crossing you've had to stop how do you then actually get across the road well, a lot of people think that the beeping noise is there for people that are blind and visually impaired, which it is, and that can be really helpful. But that can also be quite confusing when you're at a busy crossing like this one that I'm stood at, where in front of me now, I can actually see four crossings really close to each other. So if I hear that beeping noise go off, I'm not entirely sure which crossing that's actually come from. And obviously that could potentially be really dangerous. So there's a little special trick that is underneath one of these and it's a small metal cone with edges along it that is revolving. Sorry, there's a police car coming behind us. And there's also quite a noisy van here. We'll let the police car go past. So underneath this box... <laughs> we're just going to let him go across this van. We'll let this van go across. Right, we've just had to cut over that because there was a lot going on all of a sudden. As you can see, we're on a really, really busy crossing and it's quite, there's a lot of noise going on. So as I was saying, there's a real special trick here underneath one of these boxes that not many people actually know about. If I put my hand under here, I can feel a small metal cone. It's got ridges along the edges. And this cone starts to revolve when the green man shows. So you'll know, so you stand here, you wait. If it's not moving, you know that the traffic's moving past. Once it starts revolving, you know that the red light is shown and the cars have been asked to stop. So that's a fantastic, very, very simple little trick. What is important to remember is that cone isn't necessarily telling you that it's safe to cross the road. What it's telling you is that the green man's come on and the cars have been asked to stop. So it doesn't mean that they necessarily will stop, obviously. So you still need to be aware, you still need to listen out for cars as well. So those are my two uh, life hacks in this video, two for one, more than you get out of Mark most days. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, we've got loads more videos on other life hacks, on products, on apps, so please check them out. And if you think they're useful, then please share them with your community. Thanks a lot. Bye.